Hello everyone, I am Andrea and for the first time you are seeing me on webcam because today I want to share with you guys our device. Some tips uh, when you are using our device, it's featuring an adjustable desktop mount so you can put in uh, any position that you like and when you are comfortable with the view angle you can tighten the screw with an allen key and our device will stay on that position. Another thing that you have to know is uh, our device uh, has two USB ports. The lower one is the plug and play joystick so you can use our device with any games and simulator and the upper one is the USB port that drives all the display and makes the display works according to DCS. If you guys are not going to install our device on desktop, but you want to put inside your SIMPIT, uh, you can uh, buy uh, this screw with a longer height, so it's featuring a, a bigger frame than case itself, so you can cut an hole in your front uh, frame and put our device inside of that frame. It's pretty easy and pretty adjustable for any situation. So let's now jump to my desktop and see how to install and make device works with uh, DCS World. First things, you have to go on our website in the download page and uh, download the Windows file. After the download is complete, you can extract uh, all the content of this folder and inside this folder you have all the necessary files to run our device. First things, you have uh, the scripts folder inside the saved games, so you have to copy this folder into your saved games uh, folder. If you have open beta and stable uh, installation in your uh, uh, computer you have to make this step for uh, both folder so I'm going to do for the stable right now and past this folder after uh, we have completed this uh, paste process we go inside the scripts folder and if we don't have another file called export.lua we can safely Re rename this file and name it just export.lua okay now we are going to make the example on the open beta where I have uh, some other content so I copy again this folder and go on my saved games folder on the open beta as you can see I have a script folder like here I passed the folder and replace all the content okay when I go inside I see that already I have export Lua probably because I have some other script so what I have to do is open the file that we provide to you copy the only lane that is inside our file and passed into the export.lua at the end, so we can pass our line and save this file. After this, we have the profiles, so we jump inside our DCS. So when we are on our DCS, we can go on options, controls, and uh, you can see that our device is displayed at multipurpose UFC. So we have to alight the column of our device and click on load profile buttons. Then uh, we go to the download folder. Inside uh, the iCraft profiles, we can pick up the correct uh, iCraft that is basically pre-assigned uh, key binding. So we can click on OK. And then we have all the button 
already configured for our device. So we can click OK. Then the last things that you have to do is inside the multipurpose UFC folder, you have to run our software that is basically a customized version of DCS BIOS. The first time that you run our software, you will be asked to enter the correct COM port number. You have here a list of connected devices, so in this case it's number 3. I am going to type 3 and then hit uh, enter button on my keyboard. So when you see this warning about uh, this pointer, the software is now listening. You can minimize this uh, prompt and turn uh, back on your DCS word and uh, start uh, any mission. So that's all for software installation. I hope everything is clear. Uh, if it's something uh, is not clear enough, please contact us and ask everything you need uh, to set up your device. Even if there is something different on your computer, you have some trouble doing this installation, uh, really don't feel uh, uh, shiny, contact us and we will help you to install our device. So I hope uh, you will enjoy our device and we're looking forward to see how looks the device in your simulation pit uh, on your desk and which is your general feedback on our device see you guys stay safe stay healthy and fly safe